YouTube. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I'm telling y'all, this one is awesome. Um, I am from California, like I've told you so many times, and when I was growing up, my mother would always cook artichokes. Um, since I've been in the South, I've been here for 22 years, and people are like, I don't even know what artichokes are. I don't know how they're cooked. So tonight, I am going to show you guys how we make artichokes, and I am going to make stuffed chicken breasts. You guys, you are going to love this. This is an awesome recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with showing you how we make these artichokes. They have to cook quite a long time. You don't want to overcook them, but you definitely do not want to undercook them. They need to be tender enough to peel the leaves off because that is what we are going to do. We're going to peel the leaves off and we're going to eat them. Watch. I'm going to show you how it works. They are amazing. Look, the stuff you get in the can and the jars is not the same thing. I mean, it might be artichokes, but it is definitely, definitely way better to cook them. They're expensive. Um, the first time I made one for my husband, he was like, what in the heck is that? I'm not eating that. And he tried it and he was like, oh my gosh, that is so good. Right, babe? It is good. Yes, mm -hmm. they're delicious. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we're going to cook them. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut about an inch off. If, if they have long stems, you only want them um, about an inch and a half long, okay? And when you buy these, you're going to want to... Um, try to get the biggest ones you can they didn't have very big ones because you can't find these everywhere you can get them at walmart and public generally they don't carry them at winn dixie um a lot of grocery stores do not have them and they they are really expensive these are two dollars a piece i mean they are they're pricey but man are they worth it and you can dip them in two different things i like to eat mine with hellman's mayonnaise but a lot of people eat it with garlic and butter or um, butter and lemon, just whatever you prefer, okay? So look, I'm just gonna put them in here and literally that's all you do. You just put them in there and you boil them with a lid on for like literally like an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes. And I will be back to show you what else. Okay guys. While we are waiting for our artichokes, I am going to show you our stuffed chicken breast and what we are stuffing it with. Okay, so in this bowl, I have um, like, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a bunch of cilantro, a spoon of garlic, a half of a block of cream cheese, um, a little bit of pineapple. I'm trying this out. I haven't done it this way before but we're gonna see how it goes. So I got some pineapple and I got spinach. So what I'm gonna add to this is a little bit of milk and Parmesan cheese, okay? So I need my milk. You don't want a whole lot of milk. You just want, eh, I don't know. You want it soupy, but you kind of want it chunky still at the same time. And you want your Parmesan cheese. Oh, this. I cannot wait to eat this. This is going to be so good. I'm saving some of this Parmesan cheese um, for the top of my chicken. I'm only using half of what I normally use just because I only have two chicken breasts and normally I have like four or six. So we are just doing kind of like a half thing. <laughs> So I'm going to let the microwave for a couple minutes and it's going to liquefy, kind of, and we're going to put it in the chicken breast. Hey guys, okay, so I seasoned my chicken breast with lemon pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Y'all know those are my go-tos. Pretty much. They're my, they really are. Okay, so this is what I do with my chicken breast. Look, I pocketed it, but, I took a knife, and I made like a pocket out of it, okay? Both of them. Now, oops, sorry. 
What I'm gonna do is I'm going to stuff them with this, my oh, mixture, my which is cilantro, cream cheese, garlic, uh, spinach. What else, babe? A little pineapple. Pineapple. Anything that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, and milk. Uh, Don't yeah, forget your yeah, milk. Yeah. Put some milk. Got in. milk in it. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get my pan over here. Right here. And like I said, I only have two. Usually I use four or five or six because I usually have more people to feed, but it's just me and Zach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stuff my chicken breast with this cream cheese mixture, okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I am going to really stuff it as much as I can without it falling out. Mm, I don't know. Okay? Yeah, this picks. is good stuff, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna stuff it, and then I'm going to take my toothpicks. I have toothpicks, okay? And yep. Sew it back together. And I'm gonna sew it back <laughs> together, exactly. You help. Oh, I'm falling out, I'm <laughs> falling out. It'll be okay. Uh, yes, I do need help. No, I don't wanna like, know. make a mess. Uh, Can you get some of those out for me and just set them like right there because I don't wanna, okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get him back up. That's, that's plenty. <laughs> All right. I'll right, get him back up. All right. So. So we're back together. Yep. It's so messy. It's very messy. <laughs> ah, my insides are falling out. Uh oh. Okay, guys. So I got them stuffed. Um, my stuffing was a little. A little more runnier than I wanted it to be. So add a little bit less milk. Just a little, like literally maybe two tablespoons of milk. I just added a little bit too much milk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of my stuffing and I'm going to go ahead and put it over the top mm. of my chicken. Okay? Cream cheese, pineapple, cilantro, Spinach, y'all, what? <laughs> what? Okay, this is the bomb. All right, so we're gonna do that. And then, look, we're gonna take our spinach and we're gonna go ahead and put it in between, okay? In between all of this and some more pineapple. We're gonna put some pineapple on top. We're gonna put all of this on top. Oh my goodness, this is amazing, okay? So, we got all that on top. Our spinach, our pineapple. Now, give me one second. Um, we are going to add <laughs> our Parmesan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby. Mm. What, and this is really expensive Parmesan cheese. Do not, uh, like, don't go cheap on your Parmesan cheese, okay? Because it makes a difference. It really, really does. Um, I know groceries are high right now, but if you're gonna make this, babe, yes. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of white wine. I can get the Top <laughs> okay, we're gonna add some white wine, not a lot, just a little bit, just a little bit on each side. You want the flavor, not the potency. A little bit of white wine, a little bit of butter, mm. always butter. Butter and cilantro. Y'all know me. Butter and cilantro, mm -mm. that's my jam. I use cilantro on almost everything. It's horrible. I need to learn how to cook without it. I really do. But it just enhances everything. It literally enhances everything. No, I do not. Mm -hmm. I do need to put that on. 350. Sure, 350 is good. All right, so we're gonna put some butter in here. Um, so come here, baby, look closer and see how much butter I got going on here. A lot. Yeah, 
on the top, I'm just doing really thin, 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 At least thin half a spots. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know. I'm sorry, but I just so I love good. butter. I love butter so much. Okay, so that's good. Now we're going to cover it with foil. And about halfway through this, we are going to put some cheddar on top of it. What? Okay. So we're going to put some cheddar on top of it about halfway through this. But right now we're going to put some foil on it for about eh, 35 minutes, 40 minutes maybe. Um, put some cheddar on it. Leave it uncovered for another 10, 15 minutes and it will be done. You don't want to overcook it because then your chicken gets rubbery. Nobody wants that. It's gross. So, that's what we're going to do. And then we will get into the artichoke part of this video. I'm telling you guys, I know that there's not very many people that know how to cook artichokes. At least not from the south. I've been here for 20, what, 22 years? People are like, artichoke? What is that? I had somebody say, an artichoke? Is that a critter? I'm like, okay, no. So, anyways, yeah, we're going to get into the artichoke part of it, okay? All right. Hey guys, okay, we're back. Final All right, product. so look, I've got two separate plates because this one is lemon and butter dipping sauce and this one is Hillman's mayonnaise. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yes. All right, so, if you come over here and look. Okay, this is my white wine butter sauce, okay? And I... I am going to put some of this on that. Mm -hmm. Um, I need my. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. This over here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to eat this artichoke. Okay. First, though, I want to put some sauce on this chicken oh my god y'all look at this are you kidding me this looks so delicious okay all right so <clears throat> then we get our sauce all right so i am going to take the camera and i want zach to take a piece of this artichoke <laughs> i want zach to I take look a crazy piece. <laughs> i love you baby I want you to take a piece of this artichoke and dip it in the oh, no, lemon because uh, mm -hmm. the lemon butter and the in the um, in the mayonnaise and tell mm. me which one's better. Come on, come on, do it. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Come on. All right, tell me which one's better. I don't know if I, I never had lemon. I know butter before. Mm. Is it good? Very good. Really. You just scrape it with the bottom of your teeth. Yeah, show, show them, them how, how to do it. it. Show them how to do it. Do just, it again. Pretty much just eating the bottom of this. You don't bite into it. And take a little dip and you just scrape it. Yeah, scrape it with your teeth. Mm, oh. Yep. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Show them. Yeah. Yep, you just scrape the meat off of it. You can eat the little it. ends. So like, which one's better bit. though? You got to tell me which one's better. I like the butter. Really? I've heard a lot of people say that, but I've always eat it with mayonnaise, so, yeah. <gasps> Good job. All right, so you are our taste tester. Get a fork. No, 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 you got a fork right here. Taste the chicken and tell oh, me if it's goodness. good with the pineapple in it. I need to know. Cause I haven't done it with the pineapple in it before. <clears throat> mm, it looks so good. It smells delicious. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Very good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how long I cooked that chicken. What was it, baby? It was on 175 um, for what? 375. Oh, three, I'm sorry. 375 
for what 45. 30 45 minutes yeah. so yeah y'all look what it is amazing this recipe is so good and I'm gonna tell you what I'm not finished yet I am not finished yet because I'm gonna show you at the end of this mmm how to eat the heart because that's the most important part right mm. it is yeah because this is actually a cactus mm, you just scrape it like, oh. yeah the leaves and then you get down to the middle i'm going to show you and then i'm going to show you how to eat the heart because that's super important <laughs> mm. thanks honey <laughs> all right three okay guys look this chicken, mm. babe, so it was off the chain. <laughs> you hear me? Oh my gosh. And I'm so full. But look, Choke. I'm still on here because I want to show you. I want to finish this whole artichoke thing. Okay, look. So, this is what you do with the artichoke pieces. I'm going to show you, okay? I'm at the end of it. You go through all the leaves, okay? And I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you one more, okay? Look. All you do is you take your teeth and you scrape the leaves, okay? And you do it all the way down until it looks like this. Then, y'all look. This is the best part of the whole entire thing. Oh my goodness. All right, but look, it's really important. You need to listen. <laughs> so you're going to take it. Oh no, my heart fell apart. Look inside there. You see that? That is spikes. Okay? There's spikes inside of there. All right? That's the heart. That's the best part. Heart. Oh my goodness, it's so rich. All right, so you grab your leaves off when you get done taking most of the leaves off. And there's still some there's still some spikes in there. You're going to get those out, right? And let's take some of those out. Right? Let's just peel some of those out. Okay? There you go. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to waste your heart. So you got this part, right? So, look. <clears throat> You're gonna dip it in your mayonnaise. And I'm telling you, look, I made some um, some lemon butter for Zach because he wanted to try like something besides mayonnaise. And he was like, the mayonnaise is better. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the Hellman's mayonnaise is better. But anyway, so you dip it in your mayonnaise or your butter or whatever you want. And then you just <laughs> basically suck it off. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> Alright, so then you take your part, which is supposed to be all together, but it's not. And yes. And look, this is really important, guys. You want to take all of these spikes okay you gotta get all of this off see that right see all them spikes mm -hmm. my mama always told me you're gonna choke on that you're gonna choke on them spikes if you don't get them out i don't know if that's true and i don't want to fucking find out oh excuse my language <laughs> all right so the heart is literally the best part it's sweet and oh my god that is amazing it tastes nothing like it does out of the can or the jar i'm telling you guys it is so good so there you have it in a nutshell and that chicken is off the chain so there you go I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We love you so much. Please like and share. Um, we will see you next time.